Okay, let's do this. Hey everybody, welcome. And in this video I will show you with some kind of live way the um, new updates and features on the Power Polyp simulation. And let's see. So this is what it looks like right now. I'm still missing a few textures, materials and stuff like that. But for now it's working the way it should and um, the main new feature here we didn't have it in the summer party polyp um, but you are able to walk around now like a, a first person viewer for now it's a first person maybe it will be a third person but i'm not sure yet but it looks kind of cool um, you can really walk towards the platform you can jump up to the platform and really walk around and say uh, uh, hey, uh, thank you for your ticket. And now this is cool. When we uh, point our um, crosshair on the uh, seat and we press the uh, left mouse button, you can really close this um, belt so it will close. And you can do it for each uh, seat separately, like this. And you can really pick up the tickets and give it the real feeling that you are operating this machine, this ride. But that's really cool. Um, but you can also use the uh, B button on the keyboard and it will close all of them, uh, um, not directly at the same time, but with a slight of delay in there. So when we, it's the sound of when we open it. Um, so when we close it again, take a yeah, close look at all of them together if it's possible. And you can see they're not really going directly at the same time, but with a slight delay on there and the same thing when I open them they will have a little bit more delay yeah that's just to make it look more realistic um so yeah when we can um give them a little spin if we want to like this looks really cool for now every seat uh has its has the same textures but I will give them all the textures they need um I do have the pictures of everything um, so yeah, I will uh, fix this. Um, yeah, for this center part, it all looks like as the original, all the same images. Uh, like here, kind of robotic shark. It's all just the same as on the uh, original one, and I took it from pictures I took. Um, yeah, the stars and everything, and yeah, looks kind of cool, I think. Um, so yeah, let's hop on to um, the controlling of this ride. Um, when we are on the platform itself, we cannot change the game mode. We have two, yeah, well, three game modes. Um, one of them is walk mode, so you can walk around everything, um, be able to pick up tickets, stuff like that. Um, when we press the tap button, so it's above the caps lock, when we press it, nothing is happening because we are on the platform. But when we will leave the platform, and we press it again, you can see it in the top left corner. We switch from walk mode to operate or uh, cam mode. So in this mode, I will make it possible to um, control the ride or switch the cameras like uh, um, static camera views, like from the top or a certain spot of view, something like that. Um, but you will not be able to walk around, only move the camera for now, with not sure if it will be in the final version. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And now we can um, yeah, start the compressor. You will hear the sound of the compressor start up and then you will hear the, 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 yeah, the main engine. Sounds like this. And then it shuts down and you yeah, hear this little pss. So now, the engine itself is running, which means if we step aside again, we can use tap to switch to operate mode and in this case press Q. And you can see in the top left corner the main engine will switch from 0 to 1. And I will show you why I did this. Um, you can switch them from 1 till 10 and the same thing is for the crosses and I will show you why because 
this is a picture of the control panel itself. I took it by myself and the owner of the ride also told me how it works and everything like that. So there are two round uh, knobs and you can, yeah, you can rotate them and you can count it by um, 1 or from 0 to 10. So this means the, the speed of the uh, thing you, you took or the main engine or the crosses. Um, so that's what I did in the uh, simulation itself, make it the same uh, as real as far as it is possible. Um, yeah, so that's fine. Let's close all of the... Uh, oh, still, we can now enter the platform uh, because we are back in walk mode and the speed is not that high. It's still safe to enter the platform. So we can still enter and we can pick up tickets and close this. You don't need to do this for every round, but if you want to, you, <laughs> you can. Um, so yeah, we press B to close all of them and exit the platform, give the sign, hey, let's rotate. Switch the game mode by pressing tab, and now we can also use the crosses and go a little bit uh, harder, quicker. Let's see. Also, I want to mention the sounds of the ride. Um, I was able to put my sound recorder next to the uh, the main engine and recorded a few different sounds of everything um, and the sounds you hear in this simulation are all from the real ride even when the screeching and, and beeping noises everything is real and that's what I want you guys to enjoy really enjoy uh, as realistic as possible um, okay so yeah we can press the O key on the keyboard to get on the ride so here we are, on the right of the uh, power pulley. So yeah, um, on the left corner you can see the game mode switched to on right now. And now we are still able to control the uh, right. So yeah, press the Q to go harder, press the A to go um, slower. And yeah, the, the Z is to um, break down back to zero, but I will show you this in a minute. So if we go a little faster. You hear the, the main engine get its speed up again. But you also hear this, yeah, like the brake dance stuff. This, this pitch noise. These are from the crosses. I'm not sure if it's too loud now, but you will hear it in the real ride. Um, okay. So yeah, spacebar for the stroboscope, of course. We do have a smoke machine, and I will show you this in a minute. Press tab again, and we switch back to walk mode in this case. Um, okay, we can use the left shift to uh, start the smoke machine. And the cool thing is, the smoke will color because of the lights, just like in real life. They will, uh, yeah get these lights uh, on there um, even though if we use the strobes that will flash white so that's really cool that's what it looks like in there yeah, cool so yeah um, let's get it a little quicker Maybe sometimes the sounds are a little bit too loud, so I need to switch them. So now we can do two things. We can um, lift the excenter, but we can also rotate the excenter. It's just like the real thing. Um, if we press R on the keyboard, you will hear the excenter rotating. Just like this. If we press the T, we will lift it up like this. And this, even this sound, it's real, as in the original. There we are, basically dancing. Let's get on right. Yes, 
so yeah. Um, I think the normal operating speeds will be, in, in, for now in this case, 6 on the main engine and 7 on the crosses. But I'm not sure yet, I really need to figure this out and test a few things. Um, but I did some countings and uh, videos in on the ride itself and I think this might be the regular normal operating speed. As you know, um, on the end most of them will do this uh, turbo kind of thing, speed it up and while they are speeding up uh, they lower the accenter again and then the ride is over. Um, but I think this is the regular operating speed. Oh, pressing the wrong button. Now, from a distance. On this side, and even we can do, let's see, will be different in the final version, but we can make it a little bit dark. There we go. Yeah, this is what it looks like when it's dark. And yeah, what I can show you now is because the whole ride is in action now, we cannot enter the platform due to safety reasons. You can do it in real life, but <laughs> I don't want you to get uh, thrown away by the ride itself. So, yeah, it looks really cool. If we get the smoke machine on, it's really amazing. Sunset over there. You can see the moon over there, right? <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, let's make it day again. Okay. So, in when you want to slow down the crosses or the main engine, we can press the Z for the main engine, X for the crosses. And you can see it will break down, and now we can do our slow motion dance. Get the right up there. So when we speed it up again, now I will go to the max speed of the ride. Let you listen to the sounds. sure maybe it's too fast maybe they can go faster but for now this is what I made up um, so yeah we can lower the center again and stop it from rotating you can hear the engine go off again um, yeah and just slowly cross us Stop the main engine from rotating. And we can still not enter. We can still not enter. Things somewhere. Yeah, right now we can enter here. Um, we can press B. Open the bars. Um, yeah. Um, something else you can do is get on the ride by picking your own. Uh, seat. So, for instance, like this one, stand next to it, press E, and we are in this seat. Um, when you press E again, there's nothing going to happen, but when you hold E, 
you will hop out of faith and then I'm standing on top of it. But you know, yeah, basically what uh, controls will be. Um, yeah, that's actually it for now, I think. That's what it looks like. Still need to do a lot of things, but yeah, this is basically it. Uh, what it uh, is right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. And see you guys next time. Thanks.